good morning students i welcome you all to the semstar online learning this is muskan purwar and i am back with another chapter that is chapter 4 edition students we have completed our last three chapters that is chapter 1 looking back chapter 2 numbers of the thousand and chapter 3 even and odd numbers we have done revision of these chapters yes now let's come to our next chapter that is chapter 4 addition let's start revising chapter 4 addition so students what is addition addition means putting objects together okay or we can say to add two or more numbers to find the sum this process is known as addition okay let's take some example 13 plus 40 so what we are doing here we are adding these two numbers to find the sum yes now students first we will learn how to arrange these numbers under the column of ones and tens so tens ones first number 13 where 3 will be placed at the ones place and 1 will be placed at the tens place now let's come to next number that is 40 where 0 will be placed at the ones place and 4 will be placed at the tens place now students see now the first digit okay the first numeral that is 13 will be known as first addend okay what you will say first addend and the second digit that is second numeral will be called as second addend okay these two 13 and 40 what is this these are addend they both will be called as addends but if we differentiate first and second addend then the first digit will be first addend and the second digit the second numeral will be the second addend okay now students what is a sum sum means the answer which we get after adding is known as sum okay let's add 3 plus 0 is equal to 3 One plus two is equal to five. Now what we got as an answer? Fifty-three. So this number fifty-three is known as a sum. What it is known as? It is known as a sum. Clear? Keep these key points in your mind. These numbers, the number which we are adding, are called addends. Out of which the first numeral is known as first addend. and the second numeral is known as the second addend and the answer which we get after adding these addends is called sum okay i hope this much is clear to you all now we will learn about properties of addition now students properties of additions are divided into two parts according to this level okay according to class 2 okay where first one is commutative property and the second one is identity property now students commutative property is also known as order property what it is known as order property okay and identity property is also known as zero property clear there are two types of properties of addition commutative property and identity property where commutative property is also known as order property and identity property is known as zero property now let's learn what comes under the 
commutative property or order property. Students, now let's discuss these properties one by one. So students, let's discuss about the first one. Commutative property. What do you mean by commutative property? The order of the numbers can change but the sum will stay the same. This means if the order changes then it will not affect the sum. This formula is used by solving commutative property sums. Let's see how. A plus B is equal to B plus A. It means first addend plus second addend add is equal to second addend plus first addend. Okay? The sum will not change. Let's see one more example. If I tell you that 5 plus 4 is equal to 4 plus 5. Yes, how 5 plus 4? If we add 5 plus 4, the answer will be 9. Yes, now add 4 plus 5. Then what will be the answer? The answer will be 9. This means that 5 plus 4 is equal to 4 plus 5. This is order property. Means the order of numbers are changing. Yes, in the left side, 5 is acting as a first addend and 4 is acting as a second addend. But if we look at the right side, then 4 is acting as a first addend and 5 is acting as a second addend. The order has changed, but the sum 5 plus 4 and 4 plus 5 is equal. Okay, that will remain the same. That will not change. Okay, let's have one more example. 6 plus 20. 6 plus 20 is equal to 26. Now, 20 plus 6 is equal to again 26. Yes, now here also the order of addends has changed. But their sum is equal. Okay? I hope you have understood that what is commutative property. Okay? Now let's discuss about another property that is identity property. Identity property is also known as zero property. Let's see why. If we add any number with zero, then the answer will be the number itself. Yes, if we add any number to 0, for example, if I gave you 10 chocolates, okay, and I ask you that please give 5 chocolates to your friend, but you haven't given, how much chocolates are left with you? Same, because you have not given a single chocolate to your friend. Yes, so in the same way, whenever we add any number with 0, then the answer will be the number itself. Okay, let's have one example. 38 plus 0. If we add 38 with 0, then what will be the answer? Answer will be this number itself. That is 38. Let's come to next example. 99 plus 0 is equal to dash. So, if we add 99 with 0, then what will be the answer? The answer will be the number itself. Okay? I hope this, I, this property is clear to you all. Okay? Now let's practice some sums related to these topics. Open page number 47. Self-practice 4A. Exercise 4A. A. Question number A. That is add. You have to add 100 tens once. 41, 21, and 25. So students, first of all, we know that how to arrange the numbers under the column of 100, 10, and 1s. Yes? So now we will learn how to add three two-digit numbers together. Okay? Let's see. So what we will do, first we will add the 1s column. What we will add? First we will add the 1s column. If you face any problem while solving these three digits together, then what you will do? First you will add first two numbers. That is 1 and 1. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Now you can add this number and this number. That is 2 plus 5. 
2 plus 5 is equal to 7 means the answer will be 7. Now after solving the 1's column let's come to 10's column. Now we will follow the same steps here. Okay 4 plus 2 first we will add first 2 digits 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. Now we will add 6 and 2 6 and 2 which is equal to 8. So we will write here 8. What we got as the answer? 87. Okay, I hope this much is clear to you all. Now let's take one more example. B part that is H T O 20 18 and 34. Now, now how we will do? First we will add the ones column. Yes, now how we will add? Now see, there 0 and 0 plus 8 is equal to 8. Then 8 plus 4. 8 plus 4 is equal to, add 8 plus 4, it is equal to 12. Now students, we will not write the whole number 12 here. If you will do like this, then it will be wrong. Okay, so let's see how we will do. 8 plus 4 is equal to 12. So we cannot write the whole number 12 over here. Yes, so what we will do? We will write first digit of number 12, that is 2. Yes, we will write 2 here and 1 we will give carry over to the tens column. Okay, now, now we will add tens column. We are done with ones column. Now let's come to tens column. Now let's add this carry over also. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. Then 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. Then 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. So the answer is the sum is 72. Okay. I hope this much is clear to you all and you will not face any problem by solving this exercise. Okay. Now let's come to next exercise. Self practice 4B. Now students. Here also you have to do like this only. Still let's practice one question. 4B A. 73 plus 34. Now we have to add this. So what we will do? First we will add ones column. 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. So we will write here 7. Now... 7 plus 3 is equal to 10. Now we can write the whole number 10 over here. Why? Because there is no hundreds digits given here. Yes. So we will write the number 10. Got it? Now let's take one more example. 81 and 56 plus. So, now again we will first add the 1's column. 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. Now, 8 plus 5 is equal to, yes, 8 plus 5 is equal to 13. So, we can write 13 over here. Okay, because there is no digit at the hundreds place. So, we cannot give any carryover to any number. Yes. So what we will do, we will write 13 over here where the number 1 will be placed at the hundreds column, 3 will be placed at the tens column and 7 will be placed at the ones column. Okay, this much is clear. Now you will do this exercise yourself. Let's come to exercise number 4C. Problem based sum. Now students, before learning problem based sums, Let's learn some words which will help you much while solving these questions. Okay, let's learn some words. For example, add total all together more sum in all. Okay, so students remember these six words they will help you a lot while solving these problem sum questions okay whenever such words are present 
in the problem sum it means you have to do addition okay let's have a look at total all together more sum in all whenever these words are given in the question it means you have to do addition okay now let's solve first one as an example first one read the question very carefully then only you will be able to understand what you have to do you have to do addition or subtraction here you have to do addition only but in the assessment both questions will come addition as well as subtraction you have to to differentiate which one is addition and which one is subtraction so you know such words then only you will be able to do that so look at the first one there are 48 coins in one piggy bank you know what is piggy bank yes the object in which we collect money yes that is piggy bank there are 48 coins in one piggy bank and 34 coins in another piggy bank how many coins are there in both the piggy banks yes means we have to find the total number of coins in both the piggy banks so first we will write tens ones first number given over here is 48 then another is 34 we know we know that we have to do addition so we will put addition sign okay now let's add 8 plus 4 is equal to 12 so we will write 2 here and 1 will be carried over to the tens column now we will add tens column 4 plus 1 is equal to 5 and 5 plus 3 is equal to 8 so how many coins are there in both the piggy banks 82 so we can write answer as there are 82 coins in both the picky banks. Okay. Now let's have second one also. There are 44 passengers in one bus and 59 in another bus. How many passengers are there in the bus? Means you have to find the total number of passengers in both the bus. Yes. So what you will do? First you will write tens, ones. Then you will write the number of passengers in the first bus. That is 44. Then the number of passengers in the second bus. That is 59. And then you will do addition. 4 plus 9 is equal to 13. So we will write 3 under the 1's column and 1 will be carried over to the 10's column. Now let's add 10's column. 4 plus 1 is equal to 5 and 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. Now we will write 10 like this. So what we got is answer 103. Means there are 103 passengers in the 2 buses. Now rest of the 3 you will do yourself. Now students, let's learn three digit addition. Page number 50, quick assessment. A part, that is H, T, O. What does it say given over here? 7, 1, 0 plus 2, 5, 6. Yes. So now we have to add, the, now we will add one column first. Same method will be followed for two digit as well as three digit numbers. Okay. So, solve the one column first. 0 plus 6 is equal to 6. Now, 1 plus 5 is equal to 6. 7 plus 2 is equal to 9. Means what we got as answer? 966. Okay, I hope this is clear. Let's take one more example. 127 620. Now let's add this one. First we will add the ones column. 7 plus 0 is equal to 7. Now 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. 1 plus 6 is equal to 7. So what we got as answer? 747. Okay. 
I hope this much is clear to you all. Okay? Now, let's come to next exercise that is self-practice 4D. Given on page number 51. I see first one. Now, students, three columns are given over here. Yes, first one, you have to do simple addition. Yes. The next one, we have to do addition in the expanded form method. Last one, in the short form method. Okay, so let's come. Okay, now 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. 2 plus 5 is equal to 7 again. 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. Now, by using expanded form method, how we will solve this, the same sum, first look at the first edit, that is 3, 2, 4. We will write the expanded form of this number, that is, what will be the expanded form of 3 here? 300 plus 2 tens means 20 plus 4 ones means 4. Now, we will write the expanded form of second edit, that is 1, 5, 3. So, 100 plus 5 tens plus 3 ones. Now we have to do addition. Yes. So let's come to last result first. 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. Let's come to next result. 20 plus 50. So first we will add 0, 0. 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. 2 plus 5 is equal to 70. Now let's come to this one. 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. Then 3 plus 4 plus 1 is equal to 400. So what we got as answer? 400 plus 70 plus 7. Now what will be the short form of this? Now expanded form. 400 77. Okay? I hope this much is clear to you all. Yes? Now, rest of the two questions you will do yourself. Clear? Now, second part, add. Now, this also you can do yourself. You have to solve three digit sum. Now, let's come to second part, add. This also you can do yourself as I have already told you just now. That how to solve three digit numbers. How to add three digit numbers. Okay. Clear. Now let's come to page number 52. Let's come to next exercise. That is self practice 4E. Now here also some problem sums are given. Yes. Let's have a first one. Now listen very carefully what the question is saying. There were 333 men and 243 women working in an office. How many people were working in office in all? Yes, I have told you if in all is there, it means we have to do addition. So how we will write? Now here are three digit numbers. So we will write, we will draw three columns. 100 tens and ones. First number is 333. Second number is 243. Now we will add 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. Now again let's come to tens column. 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. Now let's come to hundreds column. That is 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. What we got as our answer? 576. So we can write answer as there are 576 people working in an office. Okay? Now, rest of the four questions you will do yourself. I hope this much is understood to you all. We will continue another topics tomorrow. Okay? So, Till here, complete your book exercise, write in very neat and clean uh, handwriting and without any mistake. Okay, so complete these exercises. Okay, 
and keep practicing, keep learning, stay at home, 